professional email, meaning one that you purchase with your domain. So it could be info at yourdomain.com or services at yourdomain.com or your name at yourdomain.com as an example. So what you want to do is go ahead and go to, let's go to settings. And we want to click on emails. Now you want to connect an email for sure. You shouldn't leave this blank because you want to be able to communicate with your customers, your prospects, your leads. And the first thing you want to do is click here to confirm your email address. If you purchase a professional email is when you have to update DNS settings for that professional email. So now I'm going to enter the email. So my email is info at, and let me make sure I have the right email address. So bear with me. Yes, I do. Now system IO is going to send you an email um re with instructions to confirm that email address so i'm gonna go there so i'm going to check all right so it's a matter of just it's gonna say something like you need to confirm that this email address to use it as sender email address in system io you must verify your email by clicking here so you just click where it says here and i'm doing this from my phone so that's why you cannot see it but it's a very simple process it's just confirming your email address so now since it's confirmed if i refresh my screen now this pending will change to verified. Okay, but I am not done yet. All I did was I let System.io know what email I was going to use to send out any email communications. Now I have to scroll down where it says, click here to authenticate your domain and display its information in your email header which will help improve your email deliverable rates. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And here, I since I bought a professional email, I'm going to enter the domain of the professional email that I purchased. In this case, this influxsystem.com. I'm going to save. Now we're back, it's very similar to when we added the domain name. So now I have to add these C name records, okay? I'm gonna have to add this to the DNS settings of where you purchase your email address. So I bought mine in GoDaddy. So I'm gonna do the same thing. You want to go to GoDaddy and go to DNS settings and Obviously, you go to the domain provider who you purchased the email from, but in my case, it's GoDaddy. So I'm going to update the DNS settings, and it's very similar to the same thing I did with the domain, uh, the previous video that I showed you on the domain. I'm selecting everything to the left. You don't need the dot, but the characters to the left of the domain. And in this case, you have to add everything. It's not like the www. This, in this instance, you have to add because these are all new records. And you're going to select C name. And you're going to enter the name, paste it, what, what you just copied. And then you're going to, again, grab everything to the right of the field and go to your domain provider and paste that. Because I'm adding more records, I'm just gonna add more records and continue without stopping. So the next one, I go back to my system IO. And again, everything to the left of the domain. So this is the domain. 
excluding the dot, the period, and I'm going to copy, and I'm pasting, and now again, everything on the right side for the value, and I'm pasting, then another record, the last one, to the left of the field, so to the left of the domain, and I'm pasting. This is the last one. I'm going to, again, select for the value. You select the entire value. And you save all the records. OK. This is going to take about the same amount of time as it did when you updated your domain. OK, so now I can get out of here. It's going to say pending. It will change to verified once this goes through. I also want to show you if you needed to see if you closed out the DNS settings that they gave you and you need to go back to check it to see what they were. You All you need to do is click on this view icon on the DNS settings and it'll bring them back up. So in the event that maybe you did an error and you need to double check these values against what you entered, you just need to click on this view to be able to bring it back up. So I'll be back again um, after 45 um, minutes or so. Um, but maybe I can do this now, let's see. So this is the email that I want to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the sender email address because automatically it enters the email address that you use to create the System.io account. Okay, but if you're not gonna use that email address, then go ahead and update it to the email address that you do wanna use for center sender name just enter your first name i don't enter my first and last just my first name okay now here's the static footer the static footer is the footer that will display in every single email that gets sent out so that way when you type your emails you don't have to type your name each and every time this is a stack static footer that will be applied to every email that gets sent out so i like to put here um my name and give myself um kind of like a title so i like to use your virtual mentor because i'm in the digital marketing business and i love helping people mentoring people so that's the title that i like to give myself and then i also like to add the address now it's best if you add an address here Obviously, you don't have to, but it does help out with email de deliverability if you add the address to the bottom of your footer, of your email address. It just builds the trust. Um, you can get a virtual PO box. You can get a virtual email address online and use that as your um, address, or you can purchase a P.O. box from the post office. So I have a P.O. box, so that's what I will use. And I will just scroll up to save. Okay, the, sa the changes have been saved, but the this will not work until this is actually verified. Um, you will get an, you know, an error message in your campaigns with a, it's going to be like a triangle, yellow triangle with a warning message that you need to authenticate your email address. So if you see that warning message, it's because this is not active yet. So if you see that in your email campaigns, that's what it means. I'm not going to go over that now, but just want to provide that extra context for you. So we'll be back when this email moves from pending to verified. Thanks for watching.